Hey, I'm Skyler. With its long battery life and high resolution display, iPod Touch makes a really good device for GPS navigation. Except for the fact that it doesn't have a cellular data connection. So it won't actually receive information about maps when you're not connected to Wi-Fi. Which is a little bit of a limitation, but there are a couple products on the market that um, make it work. So I'm just going to show you the web page of one such product, the Bad Elf GPS. This is an awesome little unit that's not all that expensive and that plugs into the 30-pin connector on the bottom of your iPod. And that acts as a GPS receiver so that you can um, use offline maps, like maps that you'd stored by a PDF, um, or even the new Apple Maps application will work offline. And this GPS chip will allow, that, uh, will allow your location to be represented on the map, even if you don't have an internet connection. Uh, there's also the bad GPS Pro, which is cool because it connects with Bluetooth and it does up to 100 hours of data logging. So if you're pretty serious about uh, hiking or being in some place that's uh, a, a brand new place for you, you're exploring or you know, uh, geocaching, that might be a really good option because uh, it also connects wirelessly so you can just uh, leave the iPod in your pocket and still know that it's logging your location, leaving a trail of breadcrumbs as it were. So those are two great options for adding GPS functionality to an iPod Touch. Thanks for watching. I'm Skyler. Thank you.